Hi, I'm Jason with Cerakote, and in today's video, we will discuss the mistakes that can lead to intercoat delamination and how to prevent it from happening. One of the many ways that you can customize your project with Cerakote is by layering multiple colors and shades along with stencils. It's important to understand, though, how to do this correctly to avoid intercoat delamination. To better understand the lamination, you first need to understand that adhesion can take place through two processes, mechanical and chemical. The first layer of Cerakote is applied directly to the sandblasted substrate. This bonds to the substrate through mechanical adhesion. The coating fills in the small pores and crevices on the blasted surface, interlocking as it dries to create a strong physical bond. Think of mechanical adhesion as a Velcro or zipper that won't come undone. Now, when Cerakote is applied over another wet layer of Cerakote, or over a flash cured layer, it bonds through chemical adhesion, and this is what we want to focus on. This type of adhesion occurs at the molecular level, so if your Cerakote is not layered properly, the top layer will not chemically adhere to the undercoat and will easily flake off. This is intercoat delamination. Now that we understand what delamination is, let's discuss the four variables that cause it. Flash curing for too long, layering over high gloss colors, surface contamination, or peeling stencils while the part is hot. Flash carrying too long. Before adding a layer of H-Series over another layer for stenciling, you will need to flash cure your parts until they're attack free so that you can apply the vinyl stencils without damaging the finish. When you flash cure your parts, you have an adhesion window that allows for additional coating layers to cross-link and chemically bond to one another. However, you must be careful not to leave an item in for too long or you may cure the coating to a point that the layers become chemically resistant to each other. If this happens, the top coat will be rejected and not adhere properly. Naturally, you'll be wondering, how will you know when your parts are tack-free when you don't want to risk touching it? Well, here's a few ways to check out tackiness. If you use stencils, simply check tackiness on a stencil, since they will be removed when the project's complete. Or you can check a non-showing side of the part, something that will be on the inside or covered after reassembly. Here's a pro tip. A couple other things to point out are like a thick steak, Cerakote will continue to cure for several minutes after being removed from the oven. So it's best to remove dense or thick parts from the oven just before they're ready, or else the coating will be well done when you want it medium rare. Additionally, air cure coatings such as C or Glacier Series should be tack free between 45 and 60 minutes, depending on room temperature and humidity. Be sure to read and follow any instructions written on the application guide for the series of coating that you're using. Layering over high gloss colors. The second cause of intercoat delamination is layering over a high gloss coating. The composition that creates that smooth surface can prevent the chemical adhesion from taking place. When layering, it's best to choose a base coating with a low gloss rating. However, if a glossy coating is required, you can etch blast at 5 to 10 PSI to create a mechanical adhesion on that base coat. Surface contamination. The third cause of delamination is surface contamination. If any contaminants such as oil, dust, or moisture make contact with the base layer, it can lead to poor adhesion of the next layer. This is why it is very important to wear gloves throughout the entire coating process and also to make sure that your work environment is clean, well ventilated, and in the recommended temperature and humidity range for your selected coating. Removing stencils. Finally, when it comes time to remove the vinyl stencils, patience is key. Pulling stencils too soon can lift the top coat or underlying coating layers. It's important to allow the coating to set by letting parts reach room temperature. Then you can carefully lift a corner or edge with tweezers or a plastic razor blade and pull the stencils off at a shallow angle. We promote this as a steadfast rule because the ability to peel hot varies by color. Some colors will peel easier than others, but it's best not to find out the hard way which ones are which. Refer to the knowledge base article linked in the description below for a list of these colors and for a deeper dive into the subject of intercoat delamination. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching.